வணக்கம் மே ஹைதர் அலி சையத் அசிர்வம்சே யுனைடெட் அண்ட் தமிழ் சேவா வாட் இஸ் ஹஜ் அண்ட் உம்ரா பில்கிரமேஜ் ஆக் ஆஃப் ஹேகர் இஸ்மாயில் இப்ராஹிம் அட் மெக்கா அண்ட் மீனா இஸ் கால் ஹஜ் அண்ட் உம்ரா பில்கிரமேஜ் ஹூ எவர் கோயிங் ஃபார் ஹஜ் அண்ட் உம்ரா தே ஹாவ் டு ரிப்பீட் தி ஆக்ஸ் டன் பை ஹேகர் இஸ்மாயில் அண்ட் ஹ இப்ராஹிம் தோஸ் ஆர் சஃபா மர்வா ட்ரிங்கிங் ஜம்ஜம் வாட்டர் அண்ட் சாக்ரிஃபைஸ் ஆஃப் அனிமல் அட் மீனா சின்ஸ் ப்ராஃபிட் முகமது இஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி ஜினியாலஜி ஆஃப் இஸ்மாயில் சன் ஆஃப் இப்ராஹிம் ஹி ஃபாலோட் ஆர் காப்பிட் வாட் ஹிஸ் அன்சிஸ்டர்ஸ் ஹேகர் இஸ்மாயில் இப்ராஹிம் ஹாவ் டன் இன் மெக்கா அண்ட் மீனா Sacrifice of animal for, for the only people who are on a pilgrimage to Mecca. Prophet Muhammad once went to Mecca on pilgrimage, but he was stopped from entering the city. I read Quran chapter 2 verse 196. And complete the Hajj and Umrah for Allah. But if you, O Muhammad, are prevented, then what can be obtained with ease of sacrifice animals? And do not shave your heads until the sacrificial animals have reached the place of slaughter. Place of sacrifice is Mina. Please refer chapter 2 verse 196 of Quran for more detail. Quran is a reminder for Asivaga. Remember, Quran chapter 2 verse 196 clearly instructs Prophet Muhammad to send his Hadi or animal to the place of sacrifice which is Mina. And he was stopped from entering Mecca to perform pilgrimage. So this makes clear that sacrifice of animal is only for the people who are going to pilgrimage to Mecca. Remember Quran does not entertain the children of first anti Christ Cain the Roman Persian settlers who settled on the land of nations from Turkey to Indus Valley and Semitic black race region Jerusalem to Mecca Remember Roman Persian rejected prophet Muhammad invitation in other words they rejected Tamil Shiva school of thought based on creation and balance under Asivagam way of life the real Islam Persian Roman settlers children of first anti christ cane is now hiding behind shia sufi sunni wahhabi label they are enemy of asivagam the true way of islam after victory of mecca children of first anti christ cane roman persian are not allowed to enter hijaz region read quran chapter 9 for more detail since bani israel old administration center at jerusalem was illegally occupied by settlers persian roman who are from generation of first anti christ cane So Mecca became the new administration center for Bani Israel of Semitic black race whose administrators are from royal bloodline of David tribe Judah Moors. It was only after 15th century when Moors were removed from power and Hejaz region was ruled by Uthman Empire. Hejaz region was governed by the governor of Uthman Empire. Mecca and Hejaz region in 19th century was 100% under seize by settler Saudi Wahhabi said families. Commercialization of Hajj Umrah was done by Saudi who illegally occupied Hejaz region in 19th century. Remember Roman Persian now disguised as Shia Sufi Sunni Wahhabi they started going to Mecca only after the conquest of a uh, Hejaz region by Saudi. Quran chapter 17 verse 104 confirms Bible that about final exodus where children of Israel of Semitic black race would return home and taking back their old and new administration from antichrist Cain children Persian Romans now disguised as Shia Sufi Sunni Wahhabi Palestine and white Jew. So final fight is between new world order headed by Saudi and its associates versus Jesus Christ who is from the seed of David tribe Judah Moor. Coming to the topic Bakri Eid celebration copied from Varna Dharam mythology. Remember Quran is the reminder of Asivagam the real is way of life. Asivagam enemy is Varna Dharam. Bakri Eid celebration is copied from Varna Dharam ritual called Vaikuntha Dham where one has to cross river Vaitarna to reach heaven. Wherein a cow is worshipped and donated to Brahmins which is believed to take once across the dreaded river Vaitarna to reach the heaven Vaikuntha as mentioned in the Garud Purana verse 77 to 82. Remember crossing the river Vaitarna in Varna Dharam mythology of Persian settlers which got marketed by Brahmins. Under this concept If one has to cross river Vaitarna at Vaikun Dham he has to donate cow to Brahmins Remember Varna Dharam ritual mythology changes its name and identity over the time After Prophet Muhammad period the Persian Aryans introduced concept of Vaikun Dham river Vaitarna became bridge of Pulsirat Pulsirat is a bridge where one has to take help of sacrifice animals which one has sacrificed during Bakri Eid that animal would help one for crossing the bridge if successfully crossed one would reach heaven and if drop down 
from the midway they would drop to in hell pul sarat bridge has sacrificed animals of bakri eid decides who is going to hell or in heaven this concept goes against quran this concept of pul sarat and celebration of bakri eid is taken from varnadharam mythology of vaikuntha dham and vaitarna river where one has to catch cow tail to cross vaitarna river donation of cow to brahmin was the purpose of this varnadharam mythology remember by religion conversion or by change of language dna never changes during bakri eid skin and muttons are sacrificed animals are donated to madarsa mosque so that priestly cult can enjoy the wealth with their lie and mythology remember asivagam the real islam never entertains priestly cult bakri eid is an un-islamic festival bakri eid celebration is connected with to varnadharam mythology of vaikuntha dham and crossing vaitarna river which is an act against islam remember persian policy of varnadharam is an enemy to asivagam principle roman persian now disguised as shia sufi sunni wahhabi in other word muslim world organization of shia sufi sunni wahhabi in india are the protector of persian roman regime children of first antichrist kain aryavarta is the roman persian settler agenda in india shia sufi sunni wahhabi are real un-islamic sectors practiced against asivagam the real islam quran reminds about asivagam the real islam way of life quran talks about the history of tamil nation and semitic back welcome thank you